What kind of plan is this? Hello everyone! We're going to eat dinner here in Gansu. I think it's Italian and we ordered three menus. Wow, good. Really good. I'll show you around here. There's a really nice spot over there outside. Thank you. Where are you guys from? South Korea. First time in Napa? Yeah, my first time in Napa. Coming for you. Morning. Good morning, everyone. It's the fourth day here in California. I had breakfast in Candlelight Inn, and now we're going to one of the wineries here in Napa Valley. I think the one we're gonna visit first is the famous Robert Mondavi. That's a five-year-old vineyard, and, they get and this is the twenty-year-old. You can so tell by this stem. Is, it looks like a tree. It's gorgeous. This will take about a month yeah, to harvest. Question. You're welcome to do that. We're just not going to go. Just, I don't want to be in the photos, really. <laughs> Said that there's a small lizard living here. Can you see it? Thank you. Can you taste it? It looks like blueberry. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, thank Sure.
back there laying down. It has a light yellow mold on the neck of the bottle and around the cork. It smells in here. It smells so the really guy that you uh, paint on it's that smell, it's kind of like wood and wine and it's actually 55 in here, so a little yeah. colder. Now I just wanted to point out the barrels. They're all 59 gallons or 225 liters. We get four bottles of wine per gallon, so there's about 285 bottles of wine per barrel. Now retail, some of our wines could, some of these barrels could hold way over $100,000 worth of wine. So that's why we don't touch them. We just kind of wave at them and say, have a good sleep, don't let the bed sleep. bugs by. So you guys follow me, let's go this way. I'm going to show you something kind of cool. It's hard just to walk through here right now. Uh, dates that are on the barrel is actually when the barrel is made in France. Have a good sleep. Enjoy with cold salads. Well, you guys are on your honeymoon too, aren't you? Yeah. Cheers, salute Cheers. everyone. Cheers. 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 First taste of wine is not going to taste quite right because your taste buds aren't awake. It's the pH level in your mouth. So the second sip, you're going to feel tingling in your mouth. The third sip, the wine is going to taste dramatically better than the first sip. So enjoy three sips and see what you think. First thing we're going to do is we're going to swirl our wine, right? So, swirl, sniff, and enjoy. Yes. Now, this wine's kind of surprising when you taste it, because you think... You turn your glass sideways. Um, like I said, what you want to see is just clear, beautiful color. This is the viscosity of the juice. That the higher the alcohol, the thicker the juice will be. We're going to put it on top of our glass tightly. And you're going to swirl. I had a pro football player from Kansas City on my tour to my honeymoon. And take your hand off the glass and put your nose in and sniff. Mmm, smell that. And then taste. Okay? The fig and prosciutto. Let's get some cork. Look, oh, how come these don't have the red part? Oh, this is so cool. This is the label. We had wine tasting and actually my favorite wine was the Momentum. Also the wine tasted better when you had it with food. The magic starts like as she told us. Let's have a look inside the shop. Look how much they travel together, like all over the world. So the tour is over and I think it was so nice to see how they made wine. The guy told us that especially Robot Mandavi's winery is famous because they were the first winery to let tourists come inside. This is the parking lot and I found there's an olive tree over here. Oh, and there's another one over there. Oh, look, I thought this was a picture. 
drawing on that table with a pencil and then I could smear with my fingers to blend. Never once did my mother ever say, Donald, don't draw on the table. We came to Napa Museum. My husband thought it was a museum that had exhibitions about Napa Valley, but actually when we got in, the exhibition was this. Don Cohen, he drew immigrants because um, he used to paint and draw a lot of um, the scenic views of farms but he thought it would be a good idea to put people in his pictures and the thing is that actually nobody drew migrants so he thought that it was good to um, memorize them and thank them to providing food on our table so I saw the exhibition and it was really um, not expected one but really awesome to see his work and now we're going to leave Napa Valley because we're gonna come here again it's okay Hello everybody, it's a wonderful day here in Napa. Although some concerns, we came to Napa to see how this place is in this horrible um, disaster. As you know, there was a big fire in Napa Valley, but I think all of the residents are so calm and patient and never uh, better before because they are so welcoming the tourists. They think that it's so thoughtful and thankful for the tourists to come in this part of the time. It will be ever better for the tourists to come and cheer them up and actually that will be um, what my husband and I am going to do. I think you'll um, come to see someday how it would be better in having these hard times. And they will cope with it soon. Thank you very much. Yeah, Enjoy those. Thank you. Oh.